Jesus Christ. That's Bloody Marshall! Hello everybody, my name is Bloody Marshall and welcome back to another video. Unless you've been living under a rock recently, you would have heard about a huge movement that has been created by a YouTuber named That Board Gamer. Now, if you don't know, which I don't know how the fuck you don't know if you're watching me, That Board Gamer is a Roblox YouTuber that covers a shit ton of drama, and really, he's been in a giant feud with Parlo, alright? This is a major storyline in this entire fucking manga, and Parlo right now is getting his ass blasted. Parlo recently dropped the video on that board gamer essentially completely accusing him of some pretty ridiculous shit and on top of that after this video was released that board gamer would send multiple for false copyright strikes to his channel and the copyright strikes he sent actually landed on on parlo's channel they did not probably youtube probably didn't look into it very well because it was kind of fucking stupid all right after he sent these copyright strikes Parlo actually almost got his channel fucking terminated. This, I, I saw this and I was like, Jesus Christ, the, the, what goes around comes around. Parlo was actually about to get terminated. Now, do I agree with this? Um, partially, all right? I don't really like Parlo that much and him being terminated, does it bother me that much? No, not really. However, the circumstances of him getting terminated and the situation currently, I do have a problem with. And I have a problem with that board gamer. I'm not just gonna sit here and act like a fucking retard and blindly go along with this whole parlophobic fucking resistance movement. Alright? I like to look into things and I like to make my own opinion. And my own opinion is that both of them are fucking idiots, alright? That board gamer is an idiot for sending these false copyright strikes to Parlo's channel, and Parlo is an idiot because of the whole Natty Forsyth fiasco, which I don't even want to go into that because there's a video I'm going to be dropping very soon that goes into detail with that. Now, that was my first problem with that board gamer, alright? And by the way, don't think that, like, I extremely hate either of these people. I dislike both of them, but I don't go the lengths of hating Parlo as much that that board gamer does, all right? They hate each other way more than I hate either one of them. Now, the, one of the main things that I really didn't like about that board gamer is his association with Guamgo. Now, if you don't know, Guamgo is another Roblox drama YouTuber that essentially made a bunch of fucking videos on a YouTuber named Side Eyes calling him a pedophile despite literally admitting that the proof that he presented, that so-called proof that Side Eyes was a pedophile, was all stuff that he said could easily be faked and also said that was a bunch of stuff that he didn't even know was actually real. That is fucking crazy. That is completely fucking crazy. Not only that, another thing that Guamgo has done is his association with a YouTuber named Yaro Gaming. Yaro Gaming is an extreme degenerate loser troll, alright? He resides on the internet, he doesn't have a life, and he essentially just trolls people all the time. To be honest, I don't even want to give him the, the, the title of a troll, alright? Being a troll is a little more respectful than Yaro Gaming. Yaro Gaming has threatened kids on the internet by saying that they were he was going to come to their house and stab them he's threatened parlo by saying he was going to go and stab him saying that he was going to go to the uk and meet up with him and try to kill him that was another thing he also tried to literally dox a bunch of fucking youtubers he, he's just a fucking weirdo all right i mean completely fucking idiotic and it, it's fucking ridiculous now that has been the main fuel behind my my dis disdain for that board gamer i guess you could say i don't really care for his content i mean i guess it's kind of interesting he kind of explains drama in a minute and it gets a shit ton of views i don't fucking blame the guy if i got a shit ton of views on a video i would continue to fucking make it now that that really means nothing to me but the fact that he has a, a strong association with Guamgo, and the fact that he is confirmed in his little trailer, because if you don't know, he's planning on dropping a major video on Parlo, and uh, he's started up a little bit of a movement, which, th it, this shit is fucking stupid, alright? In his little group between him, Seb Motions, and Guamgo, it's fucking dumb. It's really, really dumb. I, I don't know how they dislike Parlo this fucking much, 
but in their in their trailer video they like to claim that parlo deafened them and fucking and disrespected them. it's stupid it's really really stupid and that board gamer i is probably watching this video and hey don't try to fucking hate me i don't hate you all right i just don't like that you like to associate with people who like to hang out with fucking pedophiles now they always say oh you are who you hang out with well look in this situation, do I think that that board gamer is a fucking serial doxer pedophile? No, all right? I strongly don't believe that. However, he is a fucking idiot and a retard for hanging out with someone like Guamgo. Said motions, I, I haven't really looked into. I don't give a fuck about him. Maybe he's done some abhorrent shit that I don't know about. But Guamgo, I do know a lot about. I mean, he's also a person who stream uncensored CP to an entire stream of 300 plus people i mean it it's fucking dumb it's ridiculous and i don't know why if you're gonna have this whole parlophobic fucking movement why would you have one of your biggest people in this entire thing guamga why why would you do that you know parlo's channel is still up and do i pray for his fucking downfall do i sit there and pray that his channel gets deleted and he's ridden off the internet not really, alright? I don't care that much. I do care about pedophiles, I do care about weirdos, and I do care about people doing stupid shit on the internet. And unfortunately, Parlo has been doing a lot of doing a lot of stupid shit on the fucking internet. And when it comes down to this, and I have a lot of people that watch me that don't like Parlo, just naturally based off of the videos I've made in the past, and I understand that. But if any of you really think in your mind that you should go to the lengths of full striking a YouTuber just because you don't like them, it's fucking stupid, alright? Don't do it, I don't endorse that, and I don't think anybody who watches my content should be doing that. So, with that being said, that's all, I just wanted to come here and talk about Parlo nearly getting fucking eradicated off, the, off of the internet, and I also wanted to talk about that board gamer and why I don't like him that much. And that's it. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you don't like it, dislike it. And I am out. Amiga, amiga, amiga. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not black? What the fuck?